Hey Huns, it's me, TMC, back with another YouTube video. Hey, the plan is, the plan. I'll go to IB for in about, what, 16, 17, 18 weeks time. So I'm gonna spend the next 12 weeks going to a very small surplus to see if we can gain some form of tissue whilst keeping body composition a relatively acceptable amount. A DEXA scan has been booked tomorrow and again for the 12 week period and then we shall track the progress before dipping back down into a deficit for six weeks to clean things up before our beef are to then go into a very elongated off season with Callum. So, time to train. The pre-workout of choice today is the Alpha Line Superhuman. I'm going between, alternating between the Alpha Line pre-workout and the MV Pre. Both top tier pre-workouts in my opinion. It's very hard to distinguish between both. In terms of its cognitive enhancement, I feel that MV Pre hits a lot quicker. It always has done. But I'm a very, very big fan of the Alpha Line range. They also have a, a fantastic greens powder that I use every morning. <laughs> Muscle works today for legs. We utilise their hack squat. Just been informed that Joe doesn't know. I might stop talking about him actually. Actually, no, it's a, he's in the vlog. Joe, who's that? It's Joe. Yeah, he's never been to Broadstairs. It's a bit concerning. Tell you what, Broadstairs also do phenomenal donuts. On the actual beach at the back, they're warm. Very, very good. Unreal. I'll tell you what else was unreal, this bloody training session. Back in a position that's acceptable now. I know it's only been a few days with a slight caloric surplus, but having 150 grams of carbs pre-workout compared to a measly 30 or so on contest prep has affected training performance fantastically. And mirrored alongside that increase in training performance from the food is these Vibrams. They're unbelievable. I'm in no way associated with the, with the company or affiliated with them, I don't have a, I don't have a discount code, I'm afraid. But I just picked them up at, at Body Power with Josh Bridgman, who's very much enjoying them as well, off the back of Luke and Callum's recommendation. And I find myself wearing them on upper body day, where we're not essentially using them for any particular leg movements. And, and if we're trying to get the best possible mechanical advantage, you know, by getting as close to the floor, then I'd, I'd highly recommend investing in the pair movements like the RDL and getting that drive and power at the top have been very, very noticeable. So, I, I yeah, I'd definitely go and get a pair if you can. The pendulum squat is fantastic as well in terms of freeing up my freeing up my hips and my knees since using them. Muy bueno. 180 kilos for five today on the RDL. I felt my back just about to go on that fifth, on the going into the sixth rep, so I pulled back and and increased the reps on the back off set here and got a, a really good squeeze for my on my on my hamstrings and glutes. No belt either. Usually I belt up when I RDL. And and towards the tail end of the off season when I was using RDLs, I think we were on about 200 key for 10. So 180 key for five I'll take today. And over the next 10 to 12 weeks, I think we can probably surpass that. I think we can definitely surpass that. And and I'm going to use MuscleWorks Alpington a lot more for leg days because they have such a vast array of equipment and it's phenomenal. Some 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 machines aren't that great. The Arsenal Strength Hack I set up today and I just didn't feel that it was quite there. You seem to, to really hit the bottom quite hard on that movement. And with this lion leg press as well, it's not a bad movement, don't get me wrong. The benefit to the position of these handles, you can get a real good drive with the glutes and it's very hamstring and glute dominant which is what you want really from a lion leg press but i just feel that the lip at the pad at kings sits a lot nicer for your lower back i kept trying to move around on this lion leg press and it and it wasn't quite working but not you know nice contraction in the glutes and, and hamstrings regardless of that and then i went on to the pre-core leg press at the back here at muscle works you've got about four or five leg presses which is great, and, and this particular one, there's a slight heel elevation on here, and as you know from the from the last session, I'm very much into my heel elevated squat work, and, and those that have any potential hip or knee pain, 
utilizing a, a heel elevation is fantastic. It's, it's slightly more quad dominant. If you are using it for the first time, I'd probably suggest using a Smith machine with the slight heel elevation, and then you can sort of transition into maybe a, a, a sissy bar squat, which is which is also it feels uh, fantastic, and then not for a, just a, a box standard back squat. And I took the platform away just to see how the Vibrams felt on a, on a normal squat without that elevation and it felt great. So definitely looking forward to seeing if we can increase strength with the squat, which is, you know, it's a bread and butter movement that, that I'm not saying that you necessarily have to use. I think there's possibly better alternatives, but it'd be quite nice to be in a position where we can progress that movement. And maybe maybe Callum will, or maybe Callum won't program it in, but it'd be nice over the next 10 to 12 weeks to see if we can if we can increase the weight on the bar there. Went on to some fluff work, if you want to call it that, even though the fluff would not depict the intensity, still training nice and hard. Slightly higher on the rep scheme, scheme here, two sets of 14 using the, the Cybex, if you have a gym that has Cybex equipment, take full advantage of it. Fantastic company. And, and those that know Mike from Integra, who's on the floor beneath us at work, has got a lot of Cybex equipment. Mechanically fantastic machinery. And you'll come to see the single arm bicep curls as well, which is just fantastic. Really, really good movement. There were so many leg extensions here at Muscleworks. You had a Nautilus one, a Cybex one, one at the end that I don't know the name of, and I think like a life fitness or a life extension one. This Nautilus leg extension is perfect. Unbelievable. There's no drop off at any point. For the, the, the whole movement is just constant tension on the quads. I think they've got one at Crayford because I remember using it with Luke and Callum back when we trained a lower session there, but unbelievable. If you if you if you look if you're after a really good leg workout, then head on head on down to Muscleworks Albington. I don't know if they've got a Nautilus at the Muscleworks short, you know, the one in, in East London near Shoreditch, I'm not too sure, because me and Luke have never trained legs there. But a phenomenal, phenomenal leg extension. And then we moved on to I don't know the the brand of this i started dual i started both legs but just didn't feel right the way that this particular seat is set up there was slightly too much internal rotation of the hip and you see me feeling myself n not like that but it just didn't feel right the angle wasn't that great it didn't really drop off it was quite nice in terms of continual emphasis on the quad throughout the movement but i'll probably just steer clear and, and, and stick with the nautilus which is which is great. And then we moved on to some, some calves as well. The big, big area for me over the next 10 to 12 weeks, I know it's only a small lean bulk, and, but if we can accrue as much tissue as possible, then it would be great. But then when we jump back on board with Callum for a proper off season, a big, big drive is bringing these legs up and they're not totally out of whack. Like they're not, it's not like my upper body is so dominant. Proportion wise, I'm, 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 probably in quite a nice area where we're just having to bring up all areas but bringing some big wheels is definitely a must on to bicep exercises here only two two movements three sets on the the d handle ez curls and and two sets on the the cybex a lot of you have been using this which is a, a fantastic movement that callum programmed in on my first cycle i think and that's using the d handles for the ez bar just to free up that the movement of the wrist if you're feeling any you know pressure on the front delt here move slightly closer to the to the cable the thing with this particular cybex cable though is the pins are, are, are too high so I, I couldn't quite get a full extension if you know what i mean most cables have a the pin right at the bottom but a, a really nice movement a fantastic movement and having the ability to free up that wrist as much as possible and you, you'll come on to see as well with the the cybex it is phenomenal there is a there's a very similar machine at david lloyd but it's fixated and there's there's 
sort of too much internal rotation and the pad at David Lloyd is, is way too far forward. So you've, you're in this hunched position, whereas the pad on this Cybex is, is, is perfect. You know, try and really emphasize as much as possible pinning that shoulder blade back. But again, because you, you the, the this particular machine, you've got the ability to push slightly further out so that you don't get too much internal rotation you get horrible shoulder pain through doing these these sort of movements if you don't have a, a machine like that then something like an incline bicep curl with the bench slightly positioned further out from the cable it is phenomenal really really good as well or just using a dumbbell where you put some form of support behind the elbow like an arm blaster if you stick that behind on, on a slight incline and then you've got the freedom there for the for the dumbbell curl. So, fantastic session. I'll leave you now with TM cycles in the next scene. Post workout time, we are having 150 grams of pasta with 200 grams of chicken, and then the sauce of choice is the Lloyd Grossman tomato and sweet red pepper. This is slightly less on the fat content side compared to the red pesto that I usually use and as we're going out tonight for burgers I'm keeping my fats low because we're having red meat tonight. Post upper session we have 150 grams of the pasta, Konglish, I think that's how you pronounce it. Half a, a red pepper chopped up in there as well as 200 grams of chicken. Time is now three o'clock, I'm gonna go into work for a couple hours and then meet Joe so next meal will be in about five hours time. If I get slightly peckish between that period of time, I'll just probably have a, a scoop of whey protein. Work it, work it, work it. A couple hours in the office before dinner. I'm in an unfortunate position in the fact that Joe has just done a photo shoot, come off the back of many a uh, contest, is looking very vascular and full. So I'm going to do a few tricep dips in the chair and turn the heating on and see if I can muster up. I don't know what I'm talking about. How nice is it leaving the office at what, half past seven and it's light. Summer's coming. Summer's here. Not gonna lie, I do feel a bit nervous. Like I'm going on a first date. And Joey's pretty fit as well, so. Bit of a chewing gum. Sneak up on the boy. <laughs> I'm here for the, the CM Cycles trending podcast. Yes! How are we? Finally. I haven't put this in though. I haven't put this in the calories. It doesn't matter. Fucking oh, hell. <laughs> hey, I'll see you Saturday. I'll see you Saturday. See you Saturday with the birds. With the girls. You know what I always want to say when I see that? What? Finna crunch. Finna crunch? <laughs> We're going to finna crunch some oats. In some way. No, I did miss you a little bit. I've been with you all My usual time. routine was out of whack due to tonight's dinner. Yeah, he wasn't here. That burger I don't think was anywhere near the caloric intake of a five guys. I mean it looked like a pussy burger. Yeah, well it wasn't I mean it tasted really nice. It was very sort of no sides. succulent. No sides, just the burger. We had calamari and chicken to start. Oh good. But I think I've over the pudding with the calories. But I might just leave it at that actually. It is a lean bulk at the end of the day. So to bump my, just to hit my protein take, I'm gonna have one scoop of whey, the cinnamon crunch whey, mixed in with some blueberry oats. Fantastic combination. Cinnamon and blueberry. I hope, I hope you didn't spike me. I do feel a little bit weird. Alongside our oats and whey we are consuming are pre-bed supplement regime which is Dr. Dean's sleep stack, liposomal CoQ10, liposomal curcumin and of course our liposomal glutathione. There's a poverty 
Poverty Bowl of Oats in there. How are we, folks? Back in the HQ, we are. We're off to get a Dexter scam. My last meal was the oats away that you saw, which is about what? Half nine, ten o'clock? It's now 20 past one. I tend to like to do the Dexter scans completely fasted to give a, a more accurate representation of body fat, fat free mass, etc. So we're off to Body Scan UK, which is the usual place where I get it done. Is it here? It ain't changed, is it? Oh, okay. perfect. Cheers. By about 3.2 kilograms, okay? Mm -hmm. Dum dum dum, the results are in. So I am 14.5% body fat with a fat mass of four and I weighed in at 88.5 key today. I was 90 key yesterday, but I've been fasting for quite a long time. And compared to my last DEXA scan, which I think might have been at the start of the last year's prep, a long time ago, I was 95 key, 17% body fat. And the difference between the one last year and this one is that my lean mass has increased by 4,000 grams. So that off season with Callum was relatively successful in the sense that I have lost more fat whilst gaining some tissue. There we go. So now we have a, a good baseline for the start of this lean bulk, this lean gaining phase, and we've booked in again in 12 weeks time to see what numbers we shall be sitting on. Back to you in the studio, Hugh. Okay, I'm going to leave the video there and scrub this tan off because I realise I look awful. I hope you very much enjoyed... Did I say that again? Did I say it the first time? Losing it. Completely losing it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm going to put Joe Joe's channel because he's just started doing his YouTube again. He's a nice lad. He's a proper nice lad. Like. Hope you enjoyed the what? The Gary's. The Gary's? No Gary's were consumed during this vlog, I don't think. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna, we're also seeing Joe again on Saturday, double date, it should be nice. Have you seen me? Yeah. Boys? Leave the video there. Sorry. Thank you, good night. Much love.